All right, percussion. Get out your drum pad here. I'll, I'll show you my setup here. Just like any or ordinary red book drum pad, we are just doing 93A, okay? Just A. We're not touching B today. 93A. Get out the red book drum pad, 93A, okay? And I'm going to give you a little, like, I guess, mini lesson on the side here of what to expect. Um, heading into this because we're learning a new, you know, eighth note, sixteenth note combination rhythm, okay? So, and this rhythm here is going to be heavily featured in your chart 12, okay? We're not doing chart 12 today. We're going to start that next week, but I just wanted to give you an introduction from the book, okay? So, check it out. I wrote down this right here, cool. So, what it is, it's showing you that... Once I get it lined up. Okay, so you know what 16th notes are, right? You have one E and a. Cool. This new rhythm that's featured in measure two and measure four of 93A, I believe, 93A, yep. Measures two and four, you're going to have this rhythm right here. What you have to do here for the 16th notes, you know that, one E and a. I just crossed out that second 16th note, okay? That's basically what we're doing for this rhythm right here, okay? You're just taking that second note out of it. So you have one E and a, right? One E and a. If you take the E out of it, you're going to have one and a. One and a. One and a. If you're whispering the E, the one and a. You're just taking that out. One and a. And then that's what you have right here. So if the beat is this. One and a two and a three and a four and a okay. With the E, it's going to be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a sixteenth notes that you already know okay. But if you take the E out of every single beat there, you're going to have that one and a two and a three and a four and a cool. So that's your little mini lesson with what we're having here. So now let's. Take a look at 93A. Cool. All right. So 93A, what we have here, we have measure one and measure two rhythms that you already know. Okay. It's just different because you're starting with the left hand on measure three, starting with the right hand in measure one. Okay. You have one E and a two. Cool. It's in two four, two beats to a measure. The chord note gets the beat, cool? At a mezzo forte, medium loud, cool? That dynamic. All right, so measure one, you have one E and a two. Let me get the metronome on for you guys. All right, let's do it. Just measure one, okay? Uh, one, two, measure one, play. Simple, do it again. Start with that right hand. Uh, one, two, mezzo forte, go. Good job. Now take a look at measure three. Same thing, right? Just start with the left hand this time. One, two, measure three, go. Uh, again, go. All right, you know half of it already. So now for the new material that I kind of gave you a little brief mini lesson on, okay? Remember, just take the E out of it. One and a two, okay? Count it with me. Just say one and a two with me, okay? Uh, one. Two, ready, count. One and a two. Again, go. One and a two. And that's the same rhythm that you have in measure two and four, okay? Again, just starting with different hands, cool? Again, count it. One, two, ready, go. One and a two. Good job. Play measure two only. So you have, it is sticked right, right, left, right. Because if you had the E in there, that second 16th note, it would be with the left hand. So that's why the and is with the right hand. So it's right, right, left, right. Right, right, left, right. Cool. Play measure two. Uh, one, two, measure two, go. Good job. Again. One more time. Go. And if I'm going too fast, please rewind. Okay, or pause it so that you can practice it a little bit. Now do measure one and two. 
just one and two. Count it. One, two, count it, go. One E and a two, one and a two. Remember, two, four, so it's not three and a four, it's one and a two, okay? Again, count it. Uh, one, two, ready, go. One E and a two, one and a two. Play that, okay? One, two, ready, play. Good job. Now, I want you to play measure one and two on repeat. Never go to the sticking that you have in measure three and four. Just do one and two on repeat. So measure one, measure two, back to one, measure two, back to one. That's what we're going to be playing, okay? So always start with your right hand. Here we go. One, two, on loop, go. Measure one. Measure one. So I hope you understand this new rhythm that we're learning. If you don't, please email me or comment on uh, the Google Classroom, whatever it's called, yeah, and uh, let me know so I can help you out, okay? Moving on to measure three and four, okay? Same exact thing. You're just starting with the left hand, okay? So let's play it. Start with that left hand and make sure that the last measure is left, left, right, left, okay? One, two, measure three and four. Good job. Again, one, two, three, and four. Go. Now let's do the whole thing. We are going to repeat, okay? So there's four measures here, but with the repeat, it's eight, okay? So repeat the whole thing. Here we go. One, two, beginning, go. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. All right, if you need to rewind, and like I said, if you have any questions, let me know via email or the Google Classroom. Thank you. Cushion for Friday, it's a pretty easy day for you, okay? After that uh, video on the drum pad, which you just did, we're going to do mini scales again, but it's just the three mini scales that you played this week, okay? Some good review, okay? Let me get it out here. Whoops, there it is. So you're going to be doing D flat, G flat, and C mini scale, okay? So good flat, dog flat, and C mini scale. Again, you can find that on the playlist section for the Jackson Band's YouTube account. Once you're done with those three mini scales, have a great weekend.